All right, welcome back, guys. This is uh, video number two of the Pelican Mission 100 from Costco for 2023. Comes in uh, base color, or there's only one color of a, like a fire marbly type of effect this year. I'll just give you a quick shot of the base model. This is how you would expect to get it from the store, less the grips on the paddle. And here's what I've done to mine which is a lot actually, but I like to be multiple or multifunctional. So if I get the terminology wrong, you have to forgive me, but I'm just gonna call it like I seize it. So I picked up some optional bungee, which is I believe 3 16ths in diameter, which is the green stuff here. And I added a bunch of uh, rail line connectors, I guess they call them, or line guides. These little circular deals. Because I like everything on my kayak to be able to be coming to be removable. I didn't like anything fixed where it's that's just what it is. But everything comes off. But I got this uh, Sea to Summit dry bag. Well, storage bag really. Comes with a dry bag inside. But I, I, I try to maximize the storage as much as possible for whatever conditions I'm going to be going into. I'm going to bring extra lunches. You know, I want to go swimming, whatever. I can store stuff here. Um, I added this, uh, they call it a work table. And this is at the Pelican website, I believe, or it might be TG Water Sports. I can't remember which. But I tried the wraparound kind that go around this uh, perimeter. It doesn't really hold very well. You would have to put some kind of fasteners to secure it, which kind of defeats the purpose of a quick removal. I went with this one. I just didn't want my lap wet. And it comes with storage zipper pocket for here another zipper pocket for this area and this is actually pretty cool right here comes with a couple cup holders right in front of you where you can easily reach them okay moving on added uh, my own paddle holders here foam holders so you know I don't get blisters on my hands because you will get blisters if you're out for a long time um, Fishing rod holder, fishing rod paddle holders. You can get these pretty much anywhere, they're pretty cheap. I put one on each side. The stock version of this only comes with a bungee on this one side, and it's kind of in an awkward location. I added a couple carry handles. Oh, back to the work table, real quick. So I've got it secured up front, so if I flip the boat or roll over it, I'm not gonna lose this work table if I quick release it. So I wanted it secured at the front. But I've got it in the back where they go on these hooks. And if by chance I go over, I could just grab this and pull that thing right off and it'll just remove itself. Which I'll do now, I'll show you the other upgrade I did here. So I'll just take this off real quick. Okay, you'll see I'll just throw it out of the way and you'll see my next upgrade. There, look at that. All right, so I got some marine grade foam flooring. I like to be nice and cushy under the feet. It helps prevent from slipping and sliding, getting in and or out. And the pattern's just from random. I just maximized the amount of foam I had and into various shapes to get as much coverage as I could. But you can see I left some drain paths, so it should stay relatively dry while in use. All right, the seat. That is the upgrade I added. Super awesome seat, cushion, a lot more padding than the stock version, which isn't bad, but I wanted a little bit more. I don't know if you could see that, but you can see there is some serious foamage going on there. Super comfortable, highly recommend the seat. And it's really easy to get these basically pop rivets out and just push them out. They make a high back seat. This is the stock version. I haven't decided if I want to get that yet or not, but I might end up doing it. Depends on how I want to store this kayak if it's going to be in the way. All right, here we go. They're under the fishing rod holders. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't do any fishing, but I just like to geek out and have options. So I threw these on there more just for novelty than anything. These are the fishing holders, or fishing rod holders. This cover is, is optional. You don't have to put it on, but you can. And you can see, it just goes down there. So if that fills with water, it's just gonna fill this. It ain't going anywhere else. I, got, I guess I got it for decoration more than anything, but if I want the need, it's there. 
All right, this is getting really cool here now. So the first time I took it out, I had just the, the dry bag, which is made by Buffalo Gear. And you can store fish in here, cold drinks, lunches, you name it, that's what it's for. But I did not have this black plastic tray basket set up. And when I tried out the Buffalo bag, it worked great and all, but the scupper water, the holes from the scupper, or the water on the scupper holes would splash up and get the bottom of the bag wet which I didn't really care for that. So I got this plastic attachment made by Pelican. You can get it at their website. And it's uh, completely solid underneath. So if water does splash up, it's just gonna splash right back out. And it still maintains the function of the water draining out of the kayak if any spills over. So a must have if you want a dry bag back here. And added some rail guides. Kind of hold her down a little bit. And I was still able to use the stock netting that came with the kayak to secure everything and i used a little key ring setup i picked up at lowe's to kind of hold them together it works really well or you can go with a carabiner clip whatever your preference is and that's pretty much it i believe i don't believe i'm adding anything else i think i've kind of overkilled it as it is but anyhow there's options for you depending on what you want to do i've probably got it set up to do some serious fishing other than a rod holder and directly in front of you but you got plenty of storage for anything you could think of if you want to just go out on the lake and have a good time so anyhow this is what i pulled together hope you like it maybe you got some suggestions things you'd have done differently that's fine each their own uh, one more quick shot showing them both together and there you go thank you for checking it out